Dan, I mean, as, as, a, as a music journalist, it, it's yeah. it, interesting looking back over how in the greatest <coughs> albums ever recorded lists, if you sort of go back, you know, the Beatles albums, they've, they've all kind of been up and down at different points. You yeah. know, for a long time, Sgt Pepper was the one, and then Abbey Road, so, you know, had its sort of time of being, this is the best record they did. But the White Album has always maintained a sort of a respect, hasn't it? it it's, it's a music journalist's favourite because, because yeah. of why, do you think? I don't know, it's, it's just, I mean, it's the coolest album, probably. It's the coolest Beatles album, probably. Okay. It's, I mean, the minimalism of the cover is, is cool, the kind of the... the it, it feels like, for me, it's the one I go back to most because there's just those kind of... The it's variety, an album. It's dark nooks and crannies. About. There's yeah. like, you know, there's things that you kind of think, oh, I forgot, I sort of almost forgotten that mm. song. And it's weird to say that there's kind of like underground Beatles songs, but they kind of are on this album, ones, you know, that you've sort of forgotten about. And you go, oh my God, it's so good. So the more you go back to it, there's always something new to find in there. But in terms of it being, I think, I think probably is considered the coolest one now. Even when you look at the fact that they set up Apple Records, it was like a sort of, you know, they were kind of doing a DIY label for themselves. Yeah. And thought, you know, their, their manager had died, oh, we'll manage ourselves. Um, it's, this, it's the kind of this DIY culture that for, for abandoning their status to, to do that is insane. And then I think you can see that throughout British music, that kind of indie spirit that, that although they were, you know, let's be honest, millionaires on a major label. <laughs> you know, the, the, the trickle-down effect of that is, you know, rough trade records and things like that, I think.